Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In today's tutorial, we are diving into the world of responsive web development with Flutter. We will be building a dashboard that adapts smoothly to any device, be it a mobile phone, a desktop computer, or even a tablet. So get ready to elevate your Flutter skills and create stunning user interfaces that work flawlessly across the board. So with that said, let's jump right in. So within the project directory, I'll get rid of the Android folder over here and also the iOS folder. We don't need that the linux folder the mac os and the windows we'll be focusing on the web we'll be building for web so i'll get rid of all those folders right so within the left folder i'll create a folder known as the widget so within that widget folder i'll create a file known as the responsive so i'll start with a stateless widget over here and that widget is going to be named as the responsive so in here i will declare three instance variables of type widget and it's going to be named mobile tablet and desktop and these variables will hold the widget to be displayed on different screen sizes so the name is going to be mobile tablet and desktop and as usual you need to require that in the constructor as well so i'll create a method here and it's going to be its mobile that basically takes in the build context so in here we use the media query class to retrieve the screen size from the given context and checks if the width is less than 850 pixels so it returns a boolean value indicating whether the screen is considered mobile or not so in here, I'll be doing the same for the tablet and also the desktop, right? So I'll make a check using the media query with a given context. I'll just check for the size over here. So the method is going to be its tablet and also its desktop. And for the its desktop, we target a screen that is greater or equal to 1100. And for the tablet, it should be within the mobile and the desktop. So the checks to be two is supposed to be two over here media query dot of contest dot size dot width if it's greater than 150 and at the same time it's less than 1100 that's the condition for it to be on the tablet mode so inside the build method we check for the screen size using its desktop its mobile and its tablet methods so depending on the screen size it returns the corresponding widgets whether the desktop mobile and tablet so we check if it's desktop and pass in our context we return the desktop else if it's mobile passing in our context we return the mobile mobile and the default case is going to be the tablet in case it's neither of them so that's basically it so within the leaf folder i'll create a dashboard folder over here which is going to contain three subfolders going to be named the mobile the desktop and also the tablet over here so within the desktop i'll create a file the desktop dot that so it's going to be a stateless widget over here and i'm going to name this at the desktop dashboard so let's replace this placeholder with a scaffold widget and for the start let's give it a background color so initially let's assign a color of blue so i'll copy that and do the same for the mobile and tablet so with the mobile we need to change the name from the desktop dashboard to the mobile dashboard and just to say it let's change the background color so you can actually so the tablet as well we'll be doing the same you need to change the name to tablet dashboard and let's change the color over here green so let's save any changes okay so within the left folder let's create a file known as a dashboard of that and it's going to be a stateless widget and the name is going to be a dashboard right so the dashboard is basically going to return the responsive so the responsive widget is used to render different ui components based on the screen size as defined in the responsive class the dashboard desktop dashboard the mobile dashboard and the tablet dashboard widgets are passed as an argument to the responsive widget based on the current screen size 
So basically the purpose of this dashboard is to provide a responsive UI for a dashboard. By using the responsive widget, the UI adapts to, the, to different screens. So within the lift folder, I'll create a file known as the home. So I'll create a stateful widget over here and I'll name this widget as home and return a scaffold for now. Let's save any changes. So within our main of that file, I'll get rid of the comments and also the default code, right? The default counter app over here and return our custom home we just created. So I'll get rid of that and return the home. So we need to import the home widget. There we go. Let's save any changes. So within the widget, let's create a side menu over here. So the side menu is going to be a stateful widget and I'm going to name it as the side menu. So let's return a scaffold over here. The side menu, let's actually return the drawer. Let's actually return the drawer. So with the drawer, it, take, it takes in the chart. So the chart is going to take in the list view. The list view takes in the children where you can specify a list of widgets in here. And the first widget is going to be the drawer header that takes in the child and you're going to specify the circle avatar so below the drawer is going to be a list style so it takes in the on tab that's going to be the function that gets called when you click on the list style so you need to get rid of the cons in here it also takes in the leading right so with the leading we're going to specify an icon over here so the icon is going to be the apps icon so we give it a color of white You can also specify the title over here and the title is going to be a test widget with a test of dashboard so let's style it so with this test style we can just change the color of the test to white so we can also specify the horizontal title gap that's going to be the spacing between the title and also the icon, right? And we're going to set that to zero. So I'll copy the list out and repeat it three more times. So in here, I need to change the icon and also the title as well. So the next one is going to be the chat and the next one is going to be the email and lastly the settings. And we have the settings icon over here there we go so let's save any changes so let's actually change the background of the drawer so let's give it a color so it's going to be a hex value 0 x f f 1 d 1 d 4 2 so that's the color so just save any changes over here i think that's pretty much it so within our home we can actually return the drawer here and that drawer is going to be our side menu so the scaffold also takes in the body so you can start with a safe area that is in a chart that's going to be the row so the first chart of the row so in here we make a conditional check over here you check if you are on desktop so if responsive dot is desktop passing in our context right we are actually going to make our side menu fix over here so we we'll just be having an expanded widget over here returning our side menu so if you're on desktop we're actually making our side menu fix over here so with the expanded widget the chart is going to be our side menu right so if you get rid of the curly braces i think that's causing the error my bad there you go so below that we are going to have another expanded widget and the chart of this expanded widget is going to be the dashboard right so we need to have that imported we need to import the dashboard over here so let's specify a comma so with this let's give it a flex of five so that it will take much space on the desktop screen so basically this is how it looks like on the desktop you can see our side menu being fixed so when you move towards the tablet mode you can see it's no more and also the mobile screen 
and the color adjusts to the different ui it's built over here right so on the desktop we have different color tablets we have different colors we just specified so within our widgets folder i'll just create a header over here and i'll create a stateless widget over here and it's going to be named as header right so we return a row over here we actually need to import our material dot that right and saving the changes so the row is going to take in the children so the first child of this row we make a conditional check right we check if you are not on desktop we are going to return the menu icon right so if responsive dot is desktop right and negate that so we are going to return our menu icon so we return an icon button over here so he takes in the on press and also the icon and the icon is going to be the menu icon so icon dot menu so we just specify a color over here let's give it a color of white so colors dot white there you go they're saving the changes so within the desktop folder within the scaffold we can actually have an app bar over here so with the app bar let's specify a title that's where we are going to specify our header right so we need to import the header over here get rid of the cons in there and import that so you actually be doing same for the mobile and the tablet so i'll copy the app bar instance over here and to the mobile screen i'll just paste in this getting rid of the cons and importing the header as well we'll be doing same for the tablet pasting that get rid of the cons and import the header so once you have that you need to save any changes and when we take a clear look at this you can see we have our menu over there right so now let's add functionality in toggling the side menu right for now it doesn't work so we need to add functionality in toggling the menu so within that you need to create a file known as the side menu controller right that's going to handle the logic of toggling the menu So basically we'll be having a side menu controller here which extends the chain notifier class provided by flutter that helps in managing of states of widgets right so basically it encapsulates the logic to control the side menu or drawer in flutter it provides a global key to assess the associated scaffold state and the control menu method to open the drawer which is not already open this class can be used to manage states or behavior of side menu So in here, I need to wrap the main app within a multi-provider widget, right? So we need to import the provider. You actually need to have that installed, right? So it takes in the providers, right? And we are going to use the change notifier provider with the create as an argument. It takes in a function. It's going to be anonymous. I'm going to return our side menu controller over here. We need to import our side menu controller as well, saving the changes. There we go. So within now home page i'll create an instance of the side menu controller with provider provider dot off then passing our side menu passing our context right so our targets the side menu controller over here the scaffold takes in the key so with the key you give the side menu controller dot scaffold key there you go saving the changes so i'll be doing same within our header right so i'll just create an instance of that over there so we don't pre so we need to import that so we don't press i just need to call the side menu controller and assess the method in opening of the drawer right so side menu control dot control menu there you go and it's saving the changes so there we go so So below this we are going to have or next to the icon button we are going to have a test of the dashboard right so we target if you are not on the mobile we are going to show this only on the tablet and also the desktop mode so if you are not on the mobile you are going to return a test over here and this is going to take in the dashboard 
as the test you can pass this dynamically based on the pages so let's wrap it within a pattern giving it all size of eight right saving the changes there you go if you're interested and happy to see this build consider subscribing for more interesting ones coming on its way see you in our next tutorial until then stay tuned